This is an arrangement of a dance of the sugar plum fairy from the ballet Nutcracker. This piece is an E minor. Starts with introduction. What right hand plays is the notes from E minor scale. Then turn to seventh note. Left hand starts from with broken E minor chord and then move two notes up. Move them again up one semitone and move them back. The next two bars repeat first two bars. From bar five, right hand plays the melody. It needs to be played one octave higher from where it's written. This way, it reminds the sound of Celeste, the instrument which plays this uh, melody in the orchestra. Basically, it is E minor, notes from E minor tonic chord, plus F sharp and D sharp, second and th seventh note. Now these chords go down in chromatic semitones. Please use fingering 5-2, 4-1, one, and then B, E, C, E, B. We still play one octave higher from where it's written. Now these are thirds which go down. Next line repeats the second line. The last line from bar 17. This time you play where it's written, no more octava sign. One semitone down. One more tone down. And finish. Left hand from bar five. The same chords as in introduction and then change to B. Move to A sharp, move to A natural, G and E, F sharp and E minor chord. Bar nine, A sharp, A natural, broken chords. note that these chords are and this they have the same bass F sharp so you need just to move top two notes one tone down and then back again bar 13 14 and 15 repeat bars five six and sevens in the last bar on the line, there is only a slight difference from bar 8. The difference is that we play G and E and then E and F sharp. So one added note. That's how we play E as a lower note in three chords. Then from B going down, E major chord. This is D major chord. 